Well, thank you, Waziri and the doctor in charge. Uh, we have had a whole afternoon touring the hospital, and I think it was necessary to do so before we start talking about the hospital and the health sector. Uh, before I say anything about this hospital, I want to uh, assure uh, people in Siaya that the whole of morning and the part of yesterday, we were dealing with how to secure drugs how to make sure that our supplies of drugs to all our health facilities in the county uh, can be improved and shortages uh, stopped. Uh, and uh, part of it has to do with uh, the budget circle, part of it with the bureaucracy between us and KEMSA, uh, but I think we are on top of it. And uh, in a week or two weeks' time, I think people are going to see a difference uh, in all our health facilities, in the supplies of drugs and other commodities which are required in our facilities. We have made a, an extensive tour of the hospital, and I think out of the facilities, equipment, uh, and uh, other uh, facilities that we have in the hospital, I think they are doing a good job. Uh, if they are not able to do it, it is because of uh, deficits uh, in supply of commodities. And uh, you see the hospital is also an old structure. And I think with a little money that is coming in, they have been able to make some improvements. I'm very happy because a lot of people are complaining about uh, the maternity ward and facilities. It looks like in two weeks or three weeks uh, that maternity wing and wards will be fully operational. We have looked at it. Uh, the uh, improvements that are going on, they have made out of a old being, building uh, a, new, a new building. Uh, the wards I think the conditions in terms of cleanliness is not too bad. I think it's good. We're impressed. Uh, we do a little bit about the linens uh, for the patients. We have looked at the stores, how the drugs uh, are kept uh, under, under other surgical requirements. We, we, have, we have had the opportunity to look at all that. Uh, we were at the kitchen. Uh, we have been into every part of the hospital. The morgue, uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Tari. I, I never knew that you could have a clean morgue without refrigeration. But having seen it, I think uh, it would be a priority for us to make sure that since this is the premier uh, medical facility in, in the county, uh, without the kind of morgue that uh, you'd expect in this kind of facility, uh, it is duty, we are duty bound to make sure that it is fully uh, modernized so that, uh, as the doctor was telling me, you know, politi police cases, there's nothing you can do on it uh, until, you know, the police give you the go ahead or certain requirements uh, are met. Uh, there are shortages in terms of staff, uh, especially, you know, uh, uh, specialists in many areas, but again, since we have that information, we are going to make it a, a matter of duty uh, as uh, the people who uh, are supposed to fund and uh, provide those equipment and facilities, we're going to make sure that uh, we help the doctor maintain this place uh, as it should be. Uh, we're also happy to say that in a few weeks' time, we are going to have uh, the groundbreaking of a theatre, uh, a modern facility where we can uh, conduct uh, operations. And um, I'm excited about it and we are looking forward to that facility being uh, operational probably in three months, I think. We are being told. <coughs> Maybe I'm a, a bit optimistic, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we need it fast. Uh, otherwise, we thank you uh, and those who have accompanied us in this visit, uh, we also appreciate you.
your presence okay. and the media for being with us during this tour. Uh, we, in our meeting, we had uh, a discussion about waivers. Uh, it uh, is not their wish uh, that uh, they are detained or they don't pay. is because of the level of poverty in the region. But I'm, I'm glad that there's a, a social unit, I think it was called, yes, where, where they address that issue. They even go to people's homes to find out if there are genuine cases. But uh, we hope we are going to have less and less of these cases as you improve our level of services. Thank you. As a medical superintendent, I said it was a great day for us to be visited by the governor and the deputy governor. Sia County Referral Hospital is our premier health facility in the county and uh, the governor, while he was campaigning, gave a promise to the people of Sia uh, on health. Uh, it is a huge and, and very heavy uh, promise in his manifesto. So he has taken the earliest opportunity to come and see the level of service delivery and uh, the services that we offer in this uh, premier facility. So we are really privileged and uh, today is the Governor's Day. We just want to welcome him to this facility. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Good evening. Uh, we are privileged today to host uh, Governor. Governor Sierra County, and uh, we've taken the opportunity to show him around the facility, uh, show him the great work the staff Sierra County Referral Hospital are doing, and the uh, uh, many challenges that are faced in our day-to-day -day work, which are normal in this uh, line of work. Uh, we are privileged uh, to have uh, the Governor visit us and encourage our patients. Uh, Governor Karibu Sana, to Governor Karibu Sana, Asante. Thank 